ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. This is video from 2005, people moving free stater Evan Knappen into New Hampshire. Who would have imagined 12 years later that we would have so many other advancements in freedom or cool things that have happened? I don't care for anything right now. Uh, Hello. Hi, Congressman. How are you? Great to see you, Dr. Paul. Who would have thought that there would have been a more or less top-tier presidential candidacy by someone who was almost a pure libertarian? Who would have thought that there would be strong secession movements popping up in so many U.S. states and that secession would start going mainstream. And who would have thought that we would have a probably not stoppable digital currency to compete with the federal dollar, one that is making probably some of these free staters rich, a wealth transfer into the liberty community. But it's the, uh, the independence part, the secession part, that I want to talk about, and the opportunity it provides, which I can't really take much advantage of myself. We thought that Brexit had mainstreamed the idea of independence, and it did. Uh, We also thought, or at least I thought, it would be followed up by additional, uh, the, the next step would be additional moves to make independence from the EU, and that's what would keep it in the news and make it grow. But, you know, it went straight to the United States, and California became really the the, the tip of the spear. And then it went everywhere outside Europe, it seemed, or everywhere that didn't have anything much to do with the EU. After, or I should say during, Catalonia and Cameroon, Abanzonia, Abanzonia, I think is what the separatists want to call their region, and, and Kurdistan, we still have to face a separatist activity in northern Italy, and Scotland will come back up again. There's something going on in Ireland. Uh, this is sort of a, uh, I guess what you could call a dangerous renaissance of independence type stuff. Of course, the actual renaissance was also pretty dangerous. It's something that needs to be taken advantage of. Uh, strike while the iron's hot, in case it stops being hot. But the the thing I would like to see happen, I think I think that we have an opportunity to see happen, and probably it will, whether I talk about it or not, is a uh, sort of I like to call it a world secession council. So this would be like uh, taking the Anna Stanitz thing kind of to the next level. Uh, Stanitz was I don't know she probably wasn't an organizer. She may have just been a speaker, but. I saw her speak at a an event, I think, in the Basque territories, Basque territories, whatever you say it, in Spain, and it was a conference on secession, basically, independence, and they had folks from Slovenia there talking about their experiences. Her dad uh, ran, I guess, the, ref- the referendum. There were Basque folks there and Quebecois. I believe there may have been a an independence um, event, you know, g- gathering independence movements in Vermont at some point, or maybe it was just hosted by the Second Vermont Republic folks. But what there needs to be is a long-term group, like uh, like the Tenth Amendment Center, except focused not on this uh, branch hacking of striking down every law that violates the Tenth Amendment, but rather focusing on the root of the problem, which is the state's connection to Washington, or rather, I should say, these uh, small areas domination by big areas. It's very rare (laughs) in history for the small guys to be the bad guys. Yeah, they'll do some bad things, but they're not, they're almost never going to be overall the bad guys in a conflict with the people that rule them from outside. Again, the best examples, Slovenia, Estonia, uh, Latvia, Lithuania, Kurdistan. Now it's starting to look look that way with Catalonia. It would be nice to have a grand coalition of some sort, not a coalition, but uh, an organization that brings them all together in some non-civic way. They should never have to, you know, to face rule by one another, but it's just that, it's like that t-shirt that says, organize. You know, it has a picture of a, a big fish chasing a bunch of little fish, and then the little fish getting together and chasing the big fish once they get together. 
something non-binding along those lines. I'm not going to start it myself. I've got way too much on my plate. But if you start something like this, I will do something to help you. And I will probably do it pretty frequently. Unless you're the bad guy. Really out. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.